So the next question is uh, two times IVF fail, madam. Next treatment. So Naresh Garu, if two times your IVF is failed, so first of all we should uh, look into your uh, previous IVF stimulation protocols, how the protocol is done. I mean, like you know, what is the problem? Why did you have a failure? Whether it is a problem with the sperm, problem with the egg, or the em embryo which is formed is not healthy, or is there a problem with the endometrium, or if there is any problem in the medical conditions, like you know, for a wife if she is diabetic or hypertensive or thyroid or husband any medical condition. So we have to look into all these things. Next, say your embryos are good, but still you had a failure. As I told you before, you have to look into your genetical test, couple carotapping to see if there is any aneuploid embryos which are formed. Then you have to think of screening the embryo. It is called as pre-implantation genetic screening and then going for a euploid normal embryo transfer. Or if your embryos are good, but still you had a failure, then you think about, uh, you know, if there is any receptivity problem in the uterus, whether we need to check the endometrial receptivity test for the uterus. Or with, uh, you have to see whether the you know hysteroscopy is done, cavity evaluation is done, whether any all the endometrial biopsies are done. Are we missing any infections here? Are we missing the uh, sperm DNA fragmentation here? Whether the DNA fragmentation is done or not? Or, or should we do any advanced sperm selection methods in the next cycle? So all this should be planned. After two IVF failures, I think we have to do all these tests now: screening, genetical testing screening the embryos, looking into the environmental receptivity and better sperm selection methods when you're planning for your next IVF site. For more information and updates, subscribe to Oasis Fertility, hit the bell icon for future notifications.